Greetings family and welcome to this podcast, Melvi on the go. What a day, what a moment we have today to bring you an exciting but very instructive podcast. On this one, I want you to sit back, go pick up your pen, open up your notepad on your iPhone. We're going to be teaching, whether it's a Samsung or whatever, we're going to be teaching today. We're talking about 22 marks of a destiny agent. And who else but to invite on this podcast but my beloved brother. Uh, some call him a bishop. Some call him so many things. But to me, he's a brother. Greetings and welcome, Vincent. Thank you, sir. It's always a blessing to, in fact, for this one, it's a rare blessing to have you on the set. Definitely. It's no. the first one after 10 years, man. Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what our viewers may not know is that you and I have been talking for many things. And Absolutely. We sir. had a conversation in 2012. Yes. And Way uh, back before many things happened and we talked about what we call the virtual church. You remember? That was a prophetic conversation. Yes. Uh, uh, speaking of things to come, the nature of the church, the nature of... Uh, Where are we going? Executing What's going to be? That's, that was... And how to carry the message. Yeah, that was amazing. Back then you didn't have the beard. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have the beard or the mustache. I had nothing. It was very juvenile. No, no, no. You can't say you had nothing. <laughs> I think you were loaded even back then. Mercy. <laughs> you were preaching and you were captivating and changing lives even then. Yes, sir. And, and and back then I was talking about this virtual church and COVID was not there, but look at what has happened 10 years Nobody later. Nobody could catch what you're saying. I must be honest with myself. Mm. And you, were, you, were, you were equipping because you had seen the direction of the world. Wow. The it's ages. a blessing, man. Today we're sitting here with you now. You are an author. Yes, sir. You're married now. Beautiful family. The Lord has blessed you. Tell us a little bit about yourself because people might be wondering, who's that guy? Yes. Where is he coming from? Uh, thank you, sir. My 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 greatest call. I say I'm a I'm a father and a husband. All right. Yes, I'm learning to be a good husband, but I know I'm a very good father. Mm-hmm. So um, I'm blessed by God. I have a beautiful wife. Mm-hmm. I have three children. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've been married for over twelve years now. All right. So uh, um, twelve years, man. That's yes. uh, that's yeah. quite a feat. So you've survived the first ten years when most marriages break. Absolutely, I have, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, I have a boy. His right. name is Ngobego. Mm-hmm. Uh, Itama Mafo. Ngobego is a progress. Itama is uh, the strength and the depth of a palm tree. Wow. And then I have my boy, um, Kuseli. He's my last. All right. Uh, so I'm not saying them in their order. All right. Kuseli Mafo is um, is uh, is is Mkuseli. He wow. comes to strengthen oh, yes. the home. Yes. And then I have yes. my little girl. Nom Kale. It's her birthday actually today. Oh, really? Yes. Nom Kale, if you're watching, happy birthday. I know you might be watching this well after your birthday. Thank you. So, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Nom Kale, mother of crown. Mm. So, I've given my kids very African names. Wow. As well. And my wife, Ayanda. Yes. Nolo Azima. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful family. I think for those who have not been able to to follow him, you can check him on Facebook. We'll put his details right there. He teaches every week on Facebook. You've been on YouTube and many other places. But let's talk about Vincent the pastor or Vincent the bishop. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the, the, the pathway God has led you. I'm the second born of my father. Mm-hmm. Uh, my father is a third generation Adventist. My whole wow. father's family are Adventists. So wow. They're all, that's the family church. Wow. So... I'm a th- he's a third generation. So you are a fourth? Yes, I'm a fourth. So this thing runs deep. It's, it's in the blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm the black sheep of the family because I'm the one that dares to um, try and take my religion to the limits. But you, you need to tell us about that. Uh, yeah, the core. I, I always say you cannot unbecome an Adventist. You can't. So you're trying to rebel against your blood? Not rebel, expand consciousness, <laughs> but not rebel. It comes out as rebellion. All right. But... Uh, I'm trying to get the reach to different dimensions. Maybe my right. methods may be flawed, I agree. Okay. But uh, I'm a student still. I'm still learning. But you're comfortable in your skin when you do that? I'm comfortable in my skin if it's about saving people. All right. Because sometimes people do things for their own selfish reasons. Hmm. I, out, I, I, I overextend myself and my message All right. to come out of the culture that yes. it was brought to us. Yes. When this message came to our parents, mm. it was it, it came in a different culture. 
mm-hmm. but because now there is more information, there is more knowledge, yes. and there is a quest to understand who I am, mm-hmm. our people. Mm-hmm. I'm expanding that very message to a place where it's sometimes colliding with the culture it came. In fact, I always find the battle between truth and culture, it's very bloody. It's Absolutely. very difficult. And many people have been lost in that battle. Absolutely, sir. But your roots are still grounded. My roots are grounded. I always say in everything, you have to never insult your mother. So <laughs> to me, that's a good one. That's Adventism a good one. Adventism is my mom. Wow. I came from that womb. Yes, you suckled from there and you grew. And grew. And I am what I am. Mm. I discovered my gift of preaching at the age of 12 years wow. as a pathfinder. Wow. I was a voyager when I went on the pulpit and actually discovered that. I can do this thing. No, it was them. I didn't believe. I didn't even know. But there was an elder at church, Mm -hmm. you know, who looked at me and said, there's a potential there. And that was my midwife. Wow. That had that elder not chosen me to speak on that day at Pathfinder Day, I can guarantee you, I I, I would not have discovered that. Mm. I was shy. I was scared. But he says, you have something. Mm. And I didn't see it. He said, mm. This boy is killing something. Mm. And then just give him again. So now, then the second time I'm on the pulpit, it's not a part of the day. It's a normal pastor's day where I got a slot. I'm saying, Oh, okay. Wow. And again. Yes. And again, until in the whole two terms of that elders, yeah. he had said, Every month you'll have a Sabbath. Wow. Or if a pastor is invited yeah. and doesn't come, wow. they say, Be, You're on standby. <laughs> So I was always on standby church. So you became the destiny man. <laughs> the, yes. Sir. You were marked. I was marked. And, and, here, and that's a sign. And here we are talking about the 22 marks of a destiny, of a agent. destiny agent. Yes, sir. And so at an early age, someone pointed the mantle on you. Yes. And say, you preach. Yeah. But tell us about Vincent, the author. Um, I see you've published beautiful books. And we're going to profile them right there to our viewers. Yeah. And also we'll ask them to buy. I think you've brought my copy here. I wish yeah. I could actually show them. <laughs> Tell <laughs> yes, us about sir. Vincent, the author. That is the, that's the best version of my gift, being an author. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I learned early not to be thirsty for the pulpit. Okay. Life gives you pulpits everywhere. You're a musician. You can sing and die. Wow. You know, and, and the, 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 I think that the, 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 the death of the age of Chechianity or Chechianism as we have it, mm-hmm. is the quest to think that you can only send your message on the pulpit. All right. When I discovered as an author, I wrote my first book at the age of 19. A which teenager. was called Yes. In Zimbabwe, Bulawayo. Uh-huh. And let me tell you about the launch. I still have... I'm going to give you the footage of okay. the launch. Wow. I united, sir. Uh-huh. In Zimbabwe at that time, Bulawayo, there was this uh, multicultural... Uh, a gap where the multicultures had moved away yes, and had their own yes. church. And when I, I became remember. God, gave me a friend by the name um, Pastor Pike. Okay. And then I was friends with a lot of uh, multicultural people. All right. So when I, lo- I wrote my book, it was No More Miscarriage. Ah. That was my first book at the age of 19. Wow. I wrote No More Miscarriages. They did a bad job in the print work and everything, but okay. it took me to place. And I did, oh, so writing is wow. there. Wow. I wrote that. When I launched my book, we were 500. People mm-hmm. in that venue at the academy in that venue, wow. five, and they were full multicultural white people, black people. I could see people from the conference and wow. people from that all there. And that's when God began to whisper me to, in my ears that your most powerful gift is the pen, not your voice. Wow, don't don't thirst for the pulpit. No, thirst and I never had pen and paper. the pen because by that, yeah, I began and they were there, and the books and everything. and I ended, landed in, 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 in ETV. My first interview was in ETV. Wow. All the way from Bulawayo, uh-huh. being called to ETV. Right here in South Africa? In South Africa. I mean, I had no, I had no vision of ever coming to South I was happy. Wow. I was, at a, I was at a church called Advent Hope at the time. Uh-huh. And I was very happy because they gave me a home. They accepted my gift. But I won't lie and say this. Mm-hmm. There's no place in Bulawayo mm-hmm. where my gift was ever Celebrated? Denied. No, no, no. I, I, won't, I will give credit. Oh, you were not denied? No, I was celebrated. You were accepted into many places. I was. A, a, I preached at Pelanda, wow. which was literally, at the time, the standard yeah. of saying you meet the It was the Jerusalem. The Jerusalem. Is I on your If you can preach at, at, at Pelanda, <laughs> then you can preach anywhere. At Pelanda, you can preach anywhere. Wow. <laughs> and so, and that's what, the, 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 my conflict, I can't say the church has been rough with me. Okay. I can't say that. All right. The church has always been accepting to my gift. Mm. It has been me not understanding the gift 
Yes. That has helped me. You are like Jonah. Yes, because I'd come here, I preach everywhere. I'm, I'm there, but I didn't know what to do with it. I had a, a, a deeper thirst than the gift. There was but a fire burning in there, and you didn't know where to set it up. I didn't know what to set it up. I didn't know what to do with it. Wow. I, wanted, I, want, I have two music albums that I've composed. I have, music uh, music sir. so in in wow. doing yeah i have one i wrote a book significance mm -hmm. which was my book that exploded me all right um and that book i have a music collection of the wounded woman in the bible and then i write mm -hmm. the expressions through afrocentric genre all and right. i wrote that and i did it using like chico twala type of uh, right. uh, 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 expressions because yes. i speak and i give them and i and they did that and then you do like poetry kind of absolutely sir absolutely is this published somewhere it is i'm gonna give you that as well wow. i'll send that to you it is uh, so writing for me uh -huh. has given me more access than speaking wow <laughs> people I, don't know I, that. I heard you talk on your one of your live on facebook live saying you you took 10 years to write one of the books that was the demons in a man's mind that's a powerful one the demons in a man's mind is my research to the systematic destruction of black men all right it's, it it goes into the history of slavery mm -hmm. and uh, where we are now is slavery part three. First okay. slavery they took african bodies mm -hmm. human collateral mm -hmm. which is what i call uh, 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 uh factors of production men, all right and they took us in ships and they went mm -hmm. the second time they came back and said no we don't need them now to work they built their economies yes. built their cities yeah. now their nations and empires are there mm -hmm. they said no we don't know so 1888 they broke down slavery emancipation declaration no more but All then right. they went to the partition of africa hey their lands are beautiful yes let's expand wow. then they came and then in that said, no 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 now we don't need their land we are here mm -hmm. now we want their minds wow so now we are in the age of mental slavery the the, te the template mm. is the same but the the, the appropriation the execution is different yes now in writing that there were co there were laws protocols uh -huh. of how you enslave people All right. firstly break the men okay and I call it back breaking, the mm. breaking of the man, mm. where you take men and the warriors and you break them in front of the people they lead. So when you break the man, you you have ownership of the home. That wow. book was written from um, uh, Exodus one verse. You know when Pharaoh mm -hmm. talks mm -hmm. about the fear mm -hmm. of the expansion of a race, mm -hmm. says kill the man, but save uh, the woman. The woman, and that is the mantra of how the kingdom of darkness operates. It wow. breaks men and captures women. Wow. So that book literally is talking about the saga of the persecuted penis. Mm. It's historic. It talks about the seven levels of homosexuality. Right. Because when we talk about homosexuality, with all due respect, I'm not talking about your sexual or orientation, yes. your, your, your gender uh, affiliation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we are st talking about that, we are talking it's about shallow. the lower... It's shallow. It's shallow level. It's shallow level. If you go deeper, it's When much... we go deeper in that book yes. and show you what homosexuality is about, economic homosexuality, spiritual homosexuality, mm. psychological homo homosexuality, cultural. So homosexuality is in seven levels. Wow. We are fighting at the moral level, which is the lowest which level. Which is the shallowest level. Which is the level where the okoros and the ones <laughs> who don't have a destiny are called to practice. Wow. Where you wow. are seeing boys date. No, that's level, slow level. Yes. No. So you are now a well accomplished author. So you are a husband, you are a father, you have led preachings across, you've traveled across Africa, and uh, here you are, you are now immortalizing your thoughts mm. in books. Mm. I mean, I believe the gospel will be finished by people who will remember what Rome, Revelation 1, verse 3 says blessed are those who read. Mm -hmm. The assumption is it's written mm. by somebody. And those who hear, the yeah. assumption is it's recorded My God, in a deep. medium that people can then hear. So it's no longer just about physical hearing in our mm. age. It's a digital age. Absolutely. So I believe when you write, when you talk like this, you have immortalized yourself, your message. Wow. That's and that's powerful. why I believe as Adventist, Revelation chapter 14, verse 6 to 12 is our platform and our message. But verse 13 mm. is our calling. Amen. Wow. Blessed are those who die mm. in the Lord henceforth. They rest but their works follow them forever. Meaning, after this video, you can go die. We now know who Vincent, Vincent is. That's you, powerful. You've shared your thoughts with us and will remain with us. Yeah. So let's transition quickly and come to the thoughts that the Spirit laid in your heart. The 22 marks of a destiny agent. Mm. The assumption I'm taking is that many are called. But few. Talk to us about that. That's so powerful, sir. I think that destiny is the god plan 
pertaining to a person, a people, a family, a nation. Mm. Every family has a divine agenda. Mm -hmm. The divine agenda is God's opinion based for that thing, mm -hmm. which is exactly what we are. Let me say that when you talk about the 22 signs of a destiny agent or mm -hmm. that you're marked as a destiny agent, mm. um, my mother was barren for eight and a half years before she could have me. She had my brother. The age gap between me and my brother is eight and a half years. Mm. When she gave birth to my brother, she had no struggle. When she gave birth to the last one, she had no struggle. Wow. It is when she tried to have me that she was muted. Wow. The womb was literally barren. It wow. was rotting. It was bleeding. For eight and a half years, there's nothing she did not try wow. to give birth. Mm. As a young woman, she couldn't. And there was no way medically. They, could, they were saying, there's nothing she didn't try. Mm. And that's why I say that what you carry determines your warfare. The warfare okay. is always determined what you carry. Yes. In that bloodline, I was the only pastor that came. So you were the seed. The seed that was fought. That was needed. That was needed. For the so, kingdom. For the kingdom. Mm. So my mom struggled with cesarean birth. I even say that the nature of your birth decodes the weight of what you carry. Wow. Some people can push and come out. All right. Some people are too heavy. To be pushed out. To be pushed out. They need external hands, midwife. Wow. To help even the mother give mm. birth to what she carries. Mm. The baby determines how it comes. All right. You know, when the waters break, which we call this the spontaneous mem rupture of membrane. Yeah. And that breaks. My mother went through hell mm. to give birth to me. Even the the, the, the doctor once called her for an interview. Mm -hmm. First time I said, mm -hmm. this thing is injuring your womb. We have to do a DNC wow. and uh, extract this thing from you. Wow. My mother said, if I perish, I perish. I will keep it. I keep this baby. I've, wow. I've, 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 I, I've struggled for too long. I will have this one also. So that whole thing, when we talk and everything. Not only that, when I was born, she lost her voice. You're kidding. Yes, she lost her voice. So I didn't hear my mother say all oh, this baby language and baby tongues. Oh. That coo -coo -boo -boo. I didn't yes. hear all that because her voice left. And it came back with my young sister. So while she was <laughs> recovering from the Caesar, yes. she fell pregnant with my young sister. Oh my. Because she didn't think, she thought this was the, she fell pregnant with my young sister. So she was oh, not wow. yet. So while I'm young, mm -hmm. she's pregnant. Oh so they had to release me early from this one yes. so that she can, she can focus growth. on the pregnancy yes. so that the calcium yak is not too depleted mm. by mm. being pregnant. That and breastfeeding, and, yes. You know, so when I talk about destiny, I'm talking about what I know. It's my experience. Mm. So that's a mark that what the child that's coming is of a prophetic content. And let me yeah. say this. Uh, this word prophetic mm -hmm. is a bastardized all right. Word in our time. Because okay. everyone is a prophet. Prophetic. Oh, yeah. Prophecy yeah. is not giving phone numbers. No. Prophecy is not ID. No. Prophecy, no. Prophecy is decoding the mind of God pertaining to a person. Yes. That's prophecy. Yes. Prophecy is when we literally align to divinity. Mm. Then that becomes prophetic. Because we live in an age of uh, heavy assault. Mm. On Christianity, yes, blackness. Things, yeah. Now we have people who are saying prophets because I can pray. Those are predictions. No. We don't even know. Well, I'm a salamus. I'm a salamus, magic, yeah. wizards, yes. charlatans. Yes. And then we call that prophetic mm. because of the first. And let me say this again. Never be fascinated by the accuracy of a prediction. Yeah, the Bible says even if they predict and it comes to happen. The source. What's the source? Yes. What is the source? Mm. And so... When I gather and I'm growing and I literally looked at the nature of yeah. my mother's pregnancy and, and what she went through even after the womb starting to rot and all these things mm. and all these attacks. And then that didn't happen. My young sister's pregnancy was seamless. If you go to my home now, yeah, they don't have one picture of me when I was young uh -huh. because they, I was a forgotten. Nothing at all. No, I, the, nothing. Our family album, I asked them, there's my, my, my brother's picture yeah. when he was uh, two months, yeah. one month there. No, because the other pregnancy came in and disrupted the celebration of your life. Absolutely. There you go. Wow. The, that is also the case of being a second born in, my, mm. in the lexicon of my experience. Yeah. You, you said it so well. So there was this shock that, oh, there's a child coming mm. and there's a first born. So they forgot to do what you do for this one because they prayed so much for this one. There's another. 
coming. Mm. <laughs> so that's my experience. So wow. destiny called me early. Yeah. And so when I talk yeah. about the 22 signs of your mark, I always will say, if you go to scripture, mm -hmm. every child yeah. that a peculiar destiny, yeah. you realize that they also had a particular, a peculiar challenge in their conception. Mm. All the major players married women who were barren before birthing yes. because God was sensitive yes. to the seed. Yes. So already when we were talking about the signs of a mark, one, mm -hmm. the contention for your pregnancy. Dest wow. Kids that are marked for destiny will always have a particular contention. The mother will have a particular, this pregnancy was contested. <laughs> You remind me of my pregnancy. I'm laughing, Come but on, uh, my mother told me this. And I can confirm your word because mm. between my... So when someone is born in January and I'm born in July, that's about um, 12 plus 7. That's about 19 months. Mm. Less 9 months. So I was conceived when my brother was only 11 months. Come on. 11 months? Yeah. And my mother tells me, Umangube, that when she discovered she's pregnant and my brother was not well, mm. she says, that night I plan to tell your father that I don't want to keep this pregnancy. I'm telling you. I need, This That's I can't heavy. because for the sake of this one. That's heavy. I cannot. That's deep. Then before she did, she says that night before the father came back, she fell asleep and had a dream. So a bright light shining on a mountain. And this light kept growing until she could see it reached her lap. Mm. And then she, she was like she was shocked, and then she screamed out. And there was a knock on the door. My father was coming in, and she says, "Why are you crying in your dream?" She wow. then says, "No, I had a dream. I saw this light on a mountain." And then by the time they talked about the pregnancy, the father said, "That is the light." Come on, come on. That is, you're not. You, we're keeping that baby. Wow. And the Bible says that the light or the, the the soul of a man is like a candle in the hands of the Lord. That's powerful. <laughs> I was seen as a light. Yes. There are many dreams, I will tell you, many before, maybe after, and later on. But so I can confirm, a mark of a, of a destiny agent is that the pregnancy is contested. Yes, and that's the first mark, that they will have a, a, a contested pregnancy. Mm. The mother, the father will lose a job. Yeah. All the other kids were swift. This one was born. You lost a job. You went through a famine, financial famine. What's going on? The enemy can sense the prophetic weight. The devil cannot tell. He's but not a prophet, he can sense. but he can sense that something huge is coming here. He can always sense, and he will contest. The so womb. some of these jobs that are lost, yes, it's a contention it's a of co your soul. It's a contention of your soul to drown and suffocate this thing that's coming that will wreak havoc in his kingdom. So wow. you will start to attack the vessel that carries it. You will start to attack the family, the finances, and the funds to a level that they will say. Why is it that this child is coming with so much contention? Mm. It's not the child. It's the divine cargo that the child is carrying. Wow. Because wow. we all, like you, look at what you are doing. Yeah. When you're talking about light, that the father, your, your mother said they saw, yeah. your productions yeah. are illumination to the minds of people. Exactly. Whenever they watch Mel V Productions, yeah. you are illuminating the minds of, the, of people with kingdom light. You're right. You are that light. You're right. And, yes. and men, I, I shared a message in 2012. No. I think that was 20, I can't remember the year, 2015, I think, at uh, one of the ASI conventions, the first one for SID. It, the video is there. I think I'll share the link. People can actually watch it up there. And I said, I've seen a cycle of sevens in my, in my life. Mm. Every seventh year, mm. I go through a cataclysmic crisis mm. that shifts my pathway. And I've always seen that the shift is always towards the destiny. Mm. Mm. There was a time when I got sick and didn't go to empty my bowels for two weeks. The day I did empty my bowels, the previous night, I had a dream. Mm. Two men calling me to come to the gate. Mm. Come. And I was crying and I couldn't go. Mm. And that day, Ukoko Wang Tandazela and they, 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 they bathed me. And that day I went to the toilet. Wow. Wow. And, and my stool was a small little black round thing that just popped out. And then afterwards I played. Wow. So so I talk about the cycle of sevens. Yeah, there's is. always a crisis. If it's not career, it is family. If it is not family, it is finance or it is my health or it is something else. And finally, when this ministry was birthed through serious pain. Uh, mm. Let me spare you the trouble now. Come on. But I can Come tell on. you, I can confirm that not only your pregnancy, but your life your is life. a contest. 
we are just talking about sicknesses. One of the, the signs of a marked child mm -hmm. are sicknesses that cannot be understood. Yeah. You go to the doctor, the doctor says fine, everything. But you've yeah. got these sicknesses that are harassing you. Mm. Those are satanic cartels that are trying to short circuit and prematurely cause you to die. Yeah. They will attack you with some strange diseases and sicknesses yeah. Yeah. that you're saying early. They mm. say this child was had a covenant with the hospital. Yeah, the mm. covenant with injections. Mm. It's like they're always calling, you know, yeah. hell is actually, when I say hell, by the way, I'm saying the kingdom of darkness. Yeah. I have to be theologically precise. Yeah, the kingdom, kingdom of, of darkness, darkness is actually mm. contesting the life. So from a yeah. contested womb, yeah. you will have a contested life. Wow. Your life itself, <laughs> demonic wooing, because yes. they're after you. That's another sign, sir. That, yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. So, so let's move on to the next one. So, so you, your pregnancy is terrible. Your childhood is unique. And uh, you, you, you talk about the third one where you say, as a child, you loved God, yeah. even if you did not know God. Yes. You had a fascination for the supernatural yeah. or for the things of God. Yeah. That's a sign again. A fascination for the supernatural. Mm -hmm. A fascination for the weird. Even when you look at you, they look at the type of... I'm, I don't, one thing my wife tells you, mm -hmm. all people, I'm very boring. I don't like watching TV. Okay. I don't like going to movies. I don't require right. time. All right. If I have it, I stay in the house. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. You don't want to be disturbed. No. When they go for movie, it could. <laughs> but for me, if they take me to a movie house, yeah. I'll sleep. Oh my. And they say, why, why is the problem? I'm watching, my mind is being manipulated by fiction that was written by someone else. <laughs> you know, so I, I get, I get. <laughs> you know what I used to do whenever we watched this strange Yes, uh, movies. And I often tell my family, no, 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 you don't need to be afraid. Someone has actually holding the camera to shoot that thing. So why, what are you scared of? <laughs> yes, what are you scared of? There's no, You've gone there's, inside. There's no pain there. You've gone inside. The cameraman was holding that camera so yeah. that you can see this scene. Yeah, so why didn't the camera run away? The, the, whole, the whole experience for them. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yes, sir. Wow. And then, and then, you say here, nothing looks normal to you when you're growing up. That's number four. Yes. Even when you fit in, always you stand out. Absolutely, sir. That, that, that's the case of Joseph. I know you love Joseph. Oh, so man. He's one of your favorite. Don't I know you. On that one. <laughs> I know that. Yes. And you can see that you don't fit in. You don't fit in. Mm. They will say funny jokes. Yeah. Everybody's laughing at the joke and yeah. they're trying to say, oh. You know, it's very hard to fit in the clique. Mm -hmm. When you're called, you mm -hmm. always don't fit in the club. And that's it. You're always weird. Okay. You always are weird. You go there. Everyone is having fun, but you're the, you're the odd one out. You're the misfit. Say, What's wrong with me? Everyone is, yeah. here, is enjoying this. You go. They are playing soccer. Mm. You are not enjoying. Mm. Yeah, they can. They can. Some, but with you, you are not fascinated with the, with, with the norm. Yeah. But could it also manifest in a situation where everywhere you go, the mantle is always given to you. You can't keep quiet in certain meetings. Yes. They'll say, why are you quiet? They'll always look for your opinion. Yeah. Could be also a manifestation of the same. It is absolutely. I, mm. I'm, I'm in absolute agreement with you. Yeah. But this is, you use the, prof, the, the biblical terminology of the mental that's upon you. Yes. It's not you. I, I'm, we must. We must. We must. We must address that. Yeah. It's not you, sir. It's the mantle. It's what's upon you. Yes. Don't get drunk with that yes. because sometimes you think it's you. No, it's what's on you. Yeah. But there's also elements you mentioned here as number um, number five. You experience situations that are trying and difficult. Um, that's the bread of the cult struggle, but it should not be permanent. Mm. You said something when, before we started this when yeah. you're talking about a plane that is on the runway. Yeah, the jumbo get, jet. The jumbo jet. It has to have a long runway runway for it to gain momentum. Yes. And that runway is literally it running against friction. Yes. Running against gravity. You see it working, but it's literally struggling. It's yeah. it's breaking. That, yeah. that It's fighting gravity. Yes. When you are called. Yeah there will be a lot of conflict and iron hmm. that comes after you. Hmm. You will realize that uh, when the other kids were going to school, mm -hmm. paying fees for those, it was fees. Yeah. But when fees came for you, then they say, yeah, maybe, okay. They would pay, but after struggle. Hmm. Then you realize yeah. that hmm. it's yeah. the mental, as you're yeah. saying. Yeah. So those things are very common. Even the Adventists will talk about Ellen White. Mm-hmm. 
I can fit all these 22 in her life. Wow. All these 22. Wow. From her injury, eye injury, yeah. to being a misfit. Her lack of education. Lack of education, prolific writing, mm. uh, and, and the fascination with the weird. Mm. And uh, So when you even look at her life, yeah. <laughs> it these 22 can, all of them. Poverty was there. Po when so you, against all odds. But she, 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 she broke through. We go to who is he? William Miller. Miller. Yes. A mathematical engineer, a mathematical genius. Yeah. <laughs> a person of intrinsic yeah. gifting. Yeah. But when you look at his life, you look at his relationship with his family. Family. It's well, a mess. You say, okay, then no, it's the calling. If you don't appropriate the calling well, you mm. you will actually denote as a curse. Mm. They couldn't say in young end. All right. But in Ghana, no. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's the calling. Yeah. You talk about prophecy magnet. Yes. You become a prophecy magnet. That's number seven. Yes. No, number six. Uh, it means there's a, there's a lot of... The word is poured in you in a very captivating way. Yeah. You are a prophetic magnet. Uh, one of the things about being called is that the Bible talks about Saul. Mm -hmm. It says that he was shoulder above all men, men. He yeah. Had presence, yes. he had weight. Mm. One thing about having a destiny mark as a destiny agent, mm -hmm. wherever you go, you attract people to speak something into you. Wow. Uyongena, whether you go into an Adventist church, yes. or you go into a charlatan church, yeah. or you go into <laughs> whatever, yeah, you will attract someone. Say they want to speak into your life, and can that's I, why it's I, dangerous. Can I can I tell you two things that happened to me? Mm. I'm in Nottingham, UK, studying. Yes, and I invite one of my friends to attend. So the church gave me two weeks to preach, mm. to start up a new church. It's now called Upper Room Ministries in Nottingham. Wow. One of the biggest in North England. As we speak. As we speak now. I was the evangelist there, given the mantle by Dr. Herbert, who was my pastor then. Mm. So in part of my canvassing for people, I went to my class and I invited this lady from Ghana and I said you need to come and be part of this yes, sir. meeting she was very spiritual, loved God Pentecostal and she said on one condition if I'm to come you guys will have to come to our church so I went to her church mm. and exactly what you're saying happened mm. I was just sitting right at the back there this guy says picks you out the gentleman come here yeah and then he starts speaking you're yeah. a great man of god you are and i thought ah, okay maybe someone <laughs> told you that wait yeah. until the second one come on so um the ministry has started but it's not known in any way i traveled to baltimore mm. with my employer johns hopkins for training that sabbath there's a kenyan lady who says i want you to attend this particular church she drove 30 miles out of town to come to pick me and drove another 30 or 40 oh. miles to take oh. me to this church and they had the Lord's Supper. I knew nobody in that church. But there's a man who came to me and said, the Lord has revealed to me that he's going to set you up and give you a great work in his kingdom. Oh. When he spoke, I thought I'm dreaming. I shook myself and oh. I was like, and I wished you could repeat it, mm. but I had heard it loud and clear. And this man then just walked away. Wow! I froze in my because I said, "What is he saying? What is he talking about?" Only when I got to the hotel, I started decoding it, and I said, "That must have been an angel, or I don't know who that." But that was a message from God. Mm. So, so it's very possible that you can be a prophetic magnet. magnet yeah. People can speak into, yeah. your, into your And life. if you don't have spiritual filters, you'll have a wrong word spoken into mm. you. Because, you, you, you know, we all want affirmation. Mm. And when you go, I, I personally believe this. Yeah. Truth has one version. All right. Truth has one version. If mm. you go to a true man of God, who's of God. Yeah. And if you go to a real mm. wizard, mm. a warlock. Mm -hmm. Who's from the kingdom of darkness? Yeah, they will tell you the same thing about you. About you. Wow. The problem is that the sources are different, mm -hmm. but the ability mm -hmm. to see, the ability to decode. The yeah. Bible said the other day, yes. the three wise men from the east mm -hmm. were not Christians. Yes, they were pagans. Mm -hmm. The Magi. Mm -hmm. They were. They, they were not spiritual men. Mm -hmm. They called them the Chal Chaldeans. Yes, 
from Babylon mm. who came to give gifts. Yeah. Those gifts were not theirs. All right. No. They were sent. Mm. When Daniel was in was uh, uh, serving the five kingdoms, he didn't have children because he was mm. a eunuch. He was castrated. Mm. Mm. The inheritance, Daniel had inheritance. People don't read this. Mm. Daniel had inheritance. Mm -hmm. And all his inheritance from serving five empires. He, when, when Artaxerxes allowed the people to go back, yeah. the Chaldeans were instructed by Daniel to remain. Okay. It says when these guys go back, this sect of Chaldeans were Daniel's invention. All right. And he says, you guys, when the rest of Judah goes, when of Israel, don't go. Mm. You have a 500 year assignment to study Wait. the custodians. Wow. And to study the sky. Mm. And this is my wealth. He wrote it. Wow. And says, when the stars align, you take this. Take all my work and all my wealth. And transfer it. The, the, the Magi were not bringing their wealth. Mm. The Magi were custodian of the inheritance of Daniel. To wow. say, when he goes and take and stays 12 years in Egypt, mm -hmm. it was Daniel's wealth mm. and Daniel's inheritance that kept him. That kept him. Mm. So when you read the cosmetic or the topsoil gifts they gave, yeah. no, that was not the gifts, yeah. the totality. Yeah. They had camels. Mm. They had national cargo. That became a problem to, wow. to, to Herod. That what are they when they saw these people coming and they, they knew they, you knew that no a king so where this is where i'm going it can't just be small little gifts no 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 no, 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 no. That, that, that that was that was king james's yeah summarized abbreviation <laughs> all right that christ's gift was daniel's wealth wow that took care of him for 12 years Joseph did not need mm. in egypt because of daniel wow but they said we saw the star yes. and we knew a king so they could read mm. his destiny by stars. Mm. And then they knew that. He said to him, we read the star and we know that a king of the Jews is born. Is born. We followed it. We, and we followed it. Wow. So these men could read. Be careful, sir, when you are gifted by God. Mm. Be careful, ma'am, when you carry divine cargo. Mm. Because the kingdom of darkness can see your divine weight before you and okay. try to capture it, contaminate it, or mm. control it. So this is very important that when you are sure. gifted, yeah. you have an environment that protects the gift. Yeah. And you say, number seven, many things that are easy for some people are very difficult for you. Yes. Yes. You, 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 you pay demonic tax mm. because of the contention. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's demonic All right. tax. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. To Caesar. So when, now when, when other people are blessed, they have 100% of their blessings. Mm -hmm. But your blessings have demonic tax. When God blesses you 100%, 30% already is, is taken. Sure. Because the enemy is trying to prohibit you from evolving. Mm. Because you remember, mm. you represent chaos for his kingdom. Yeah, yeah. So what others have easy, you struggle. Mm -hmm. When others go to tuition, you struggle. You may mm. get the place for school, but you don't have the money for tuition. Wow. Because you do. Wow. You will, because you must contest. On that note, I also say, mm. this is why I believe that entrepreneurship should be part of the curriculum of theology that okay. we teach in church. Right. You can't tell people, we shouldn't be a generation that tells people to keep the Sabbath. Mm. We are myopic and we are behind the scenes when we still pray for people to come and say, Bishop, Pastor, mm -hmm. please pray for me so that I do, my boss doesn't give me problems in coming to work tomorrow. Mm. I mm. say, no. Yeah. That's what I'll be teaching you. I'll be teaching you to close your, your company tomorrow so yeah. that you don't go to Sabbath. Sure. Ownership is more powerful. Yes. And that's what the church must teach. <laughs> and and, and, and you, you also say here, you can never do what others do because your experience is harder and your consequences yeah. are different. Yes. The consequences. Uh, uh, that one is, uh, is the golden one mm. for me because mm. other people can get away with things you cannot. Other wow. people can drink alcohol and get out. You cannot. Other people can smoke things that they easily recover. You cannot. The, the replication, the, mm. the, the consequences and the unintended consequences on you, yeah, it's, is it's more massive. deeper yeah. than the others. Mobile mental and the mental ear react. Mm. This is not your soul. You realize that someone can drink beer. I'll be yeah. yes. You drink ooh, your body. You wake up. You swallow. You, you, you are made. Ah, and the, you, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the return you're well, no, you're not allowed. Yes. You, you you know, I've talked spoken to certain people. Mm -hmm. who, you you sleep around, mm -hmm. others get away. Mm. Others sleep around, they forget, they become forgetful for three weeks. 
Wow. I don't know what happened. I'm just forgetting. I'm saying, no, it's a retaliation of your mental. You are not the type, mm. you know, you're not the type to sleep around. Mm. Heaven has invested too much in you yeah. to be reckless with your body, which is a temple of that house is these things mm. that God has given you. Mm. So you realize that you don't easily get away easily yeah. with those things that other people can just, ah, NJ, it was a drink. Yeah. Not for me, sir. Yeah. Not for me. <laughs> it can be, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> And then, and then you're saying here, even in your season of rebellion, that's number nine. Yes. Even in your season of rebellion, you have a strong conviction to stop and go back to do the right. It looks like a conscience never gives you peace. Absolutely. And I think that that is also what we are looking for, peace. Mm. And uh, this is why Abba Twala, Bazo Twala, Bible, hang himself, sure. shoot himself. Why? Because your conscience is harassing you. Yeah. When it comes to rebellion mm -hmm. with a mentor, you can't live with yourself. No. Case study Judas. Oh yes. His conscience said he took back the money. What? Mm. Mm -hmm. Take oh, this. Take thing. your money. The Jews said mm -hmm. collateral of it's sin. To you. No, it's yours. He took it, threw it, and then guess what he did? He mm -hmm. went back to the temple, threw it. it. Went back and hanged himself. Sure. Why, sir? Judas was called. Judas was Jesus' cousin. Mm. What people don't understand is that when we talk about Iscariot, Iscariot was he he's the only one who says naming again and Jesus says Because he belonged there. He was a cousin. He was a cousin. They were relatives. This thing is theirs. Is theirs. Yeah. And so Oakum Zwang Eaki Mentor was a bloodline mentor. And he says it it's people preach easy. Say Peter yeah. could say sorry. It's easy for Peter to say sorry as a stranger. Yeah. Not yeah. him. He, the responsibility on him was too much than all the other. That's why even Jesus gave him the pocket of money because Imali in business you give close to the ones yes. who you trust. So Jesus yeah. was carrying the pocket mm. and misrepresented the blood. Mm. And then when he died, it's easy for Peter to say sorry. Who you say? Who just said he has Judas? He has the he has mm. <laughs> It's deeper so it's than just the. It's deeper than Peter. Yeah. It's deeper. Peter is a strange. But we're no weak ass. Yeah. And then you say, hey, I will kill myself. So the, those are people. And you you end up doing that. Yeah. Prematurely killing yourself, which mm -hmm. is the de demonic calculation. Yes. That's what he wants to do. And that's what the devil wants you to do. And uh, you also say here, you have a hard time understanding why others do not see things the way you do. Mm. So mental aptitude. Yes, sir. And perception of issues. Yes. People don't see what you see. Absolutely. Have you seen the crisis of the cult mm. is being understood? We say pastors are hurt because most of the time mm. our sheep do not perceive at the level of our giving. Mm. And then now you, have, you are lonely. And now you are misunderstood. Yes. And now people... And so you... you, you, you why are you fighting me? Why are you not understanding me? That's the, people are not going to see it at your level. And it's up to you to realize that I'm gifted and I must literally have the stewardship of my gift to those who are not yet ready to receive at that level. You know, sir, there was a time mm -hmm. Mabonga said something interesting. Mm -hmm. He was, um, he had sent a text message, a, a, an, e an email mm -hmm. through a marking torch. All right. And then to someone receiving the Toshiba. Okay. And then his Toshiba read it as a virus. Says if I can open the virus because he was using Apple instruments. And when it comes to iOS, to Android, Android, and the Echo Lab. Oh, you right. even open something else. Hey, I can't open. What? What is this document? Oh, sorry. It it only is compatible with Apple's. So when you send that document, send it with people with Apple. Yeah. Then you have to compress it to his. Do you know that when you decode yourself mm -hmm. to other people, they may read you as a virus because of <laughs> the system. You are an upgraded system. The system is different. And the system is reading as a virus. But uh, you, have, you are not a virus. You have got to literally use a software compatible Portable. with the person receiving. Because Ish. it's a hardware and software Soft issue. issue. Wow. And being gifted is that you are a different software. Mm. And sometimes you have to condense it or compress yourself down mm. or they will reject you. Mm. Mm, this is so deep, man. This is so deep. And this it's a struggle. It's a victim. And sometimes most people who are called then decide to just walk away and be yeah, silent. It's a lonely road. Yeah. Because you look at... Lonely, yes. It's it very lonely. I don't have... For me, I can mm. guarantee you now, I don't have friends. Mm. I don't. You know, when I discover I don't have friends is when I now need a friend to help me financially and I discover, yeah. no, man, I, I don't like, have friends. You don't have friends. <laughs> I am on my own. No, <laughs> like man, you're, you're, on, you're, on, you're on your own, sir. <laughs> yes. And then the your passion for the Lord, number 11, 
is often mistaken for zealousness and yeah. it's called abnormal by yeah. most yeah I remember you live it's an atmosphere hmm. every atmosphere is designed to feed and sustain and maintain a condition all right so the atmosphere of the divine is where you live you breathe and have your being hmm. so people who are not at that level yeah will literally because you are, you are now a zealot you hmm. are now crazy hmm. you're, no i'm not crazy this is yeah. me yeah you know yes spending time how do you spend time how do you know you are an agent by spending time you say here number 12 you spend seasons alone even if you do not want to yes it forces you because i'll be very honest with you you spend time in meditation in devotion in worship Mm. You, 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 it takes a lot to maintain a gift. It dies without exercise. Right. It dies without. It's like a muscle. Mm. So you have to mm. literally be in environments that feed that yes. gift. Mm. Otherwise, if you don't, I can guarantee you, mm -hmm. you can't always be watching soccer, man, you, uh, and all that, and all that, and mm. all these rec mental recreational sports, yeah. which I literally find very un not fascinating at all. Mm. But it's okay for those who do that. Because yeah. the problem that we do is that. In saying this doesn't work for me, you want to cancel it out for everybody. For everybody else. else. No. no. <laughs> let them be. Well, let them be and, and, and master your own. Yes. You know. Yeah. And um, your dreams are so big. Sometimes you think you are losing your mind. Hey, that's heavy. One day at home, I was eating some chips that are called things. Things, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you. <laughs> Special things, ring ones. The ring yes. ones, yeah. I love yeah. them. Garlic flavors. Yeah, yeah. boss. <laughs> 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 and when I was eating, it fell down. When yeah. I was at home in, in Bulawayo, Montrose. It right. fell down. And when it fell down, I'm seeing it is moving. Uh huh. <laughs> this thing is moving, you know. Can <laughs> they get their army ants, the ones with the, uh, be underneath? Oh, right. Baby, they are pulling it to their wall. I'm laughing. I'm watching. I'm saying, how are they going to fit in the wall? Because the end wall is not big enough. It's, yeah, yeah. But the revelation I got is that in life, if you are called, you're always pulling a vision that is bigger than you. Sure. You're pulling a big vision that is bigger than your, your family. Yeah. You're pulling a vision that is bigger than your background. You're pulling yes. a vision that is bigger than your, your education. Mm. Always pull something bigger than you, mm. bigger than your paycheck. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what this is about. You, don't feel, you, you always are pulling something bigger than you. Yeah. So your dreams are the place. I believe that dreams are one of the realms by which God speaks to us. Okay. Your dreams. All right. It is you that makes them a reality. All right. So dreams are divine conversations. Mm -hmm. And dreams can mm -hmm. be demonic conversations. Mm -hmm. Because the devil has not created anything. He's an imitator of everything God has made. So when I'm dreaming, look at Joseph, sir. Yes. Your man. Yes. He's dreaming. He says, guys, I was dreaming the other day. Yes. And when I, I had dreaming, a dream. Yeah. I had <laughs> 11 stars were bowing around me. Yeah. And, the, and I was a star. And the, the, your stars were bowing. Bowing towards the, my star. My star. The second time, and the sheaves. The sheaves. My sheaves are standing. Yours. And, the, and, and the, the beauty of the narrative is that yeah. Joseph did not interpret the dream. He taught them. Wow. And they interpreted. So these guys had the same capacity as Joseph. Wow. Because I would have waited for Joseph to give it. But oh, are you saying we'll buy for you? <laughs> now we kill you. So it's because oh, he's the one who said it. Who said it. But so, all of them, this family, were a family of dreamers. Wow. Because nobody. In all Joseph's dreams, mm. they interpreted they themselves. Yeah. But they interpreted. Mm -hmm. Joseph just says, I had this dream. Mm. They interpret the dream. <laughs> now, this is the issue, sir. Yeah. People can always interpret your dreams. Wow. You think you're just having a dream. You know, I dreamt buying a jet. Oh, uh -huh. oh. So, <laughs> because dreams are a spiritual language. My yes. dreams exhibit where I belong. And sometimes people will kill you for your dreams. People yeah. will be antagonistic to you because your dreams literally are a language. Hmm. And therefore, one of the things heaven gives, you will never have normal dreams yeah. when you're marked. Hmm. You will never have Your dreams normal, are always telling. You, your dreams are always telling. Hmm. You must be able and be careful with who you share those dreams. All right. You know, because That's your dreams can yes. get you in trouble yes. prematurely. Yes. A premature exposure of a dream hmm. can be a catalyst for premature death and destruction and yes. destruction yeah yeah so the mm, audience is very critical but okay. you see the, the the terrible thing with that one which is often the case with the cold they are so zealous to share mm. that they don't discriminate in terms of who they share it with it's like a ball it's like a fire it's like a fire burning inside yeah. remember dreams are not dreams are meant to be shared yes they're not meant to be kept 
Mm. And, and, and that's the problem. They are not meant to be kept. Yeah. So when you tell someone, how did you, are you, it's internally consuming me, and this thing is not supposed to be kept. The Bible says, write down the vision. Yeah, make it clear. Make it clear. So that whoever reads, runs. So a dream must be interpreted. Mm. A dream must be released. You say it right there, the audience. Yeah, but look at this now, strangely. Maybe on another time we'll talk about it. The brothers had a part in the greatness of Joseph, but they didn't see it. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Joseph had his sheave. Yeah. They had theirs too. Theirs too. Wow. Could wow. it be that when we destroy the dreams that have come to our presence, mm. God will shift the dream to Egypt? Powerful. Hey, and that deep. the greatness of Egypt was meant to be the greatness that these guys had yes, with sir. Joseph. Yes, with Joseph. The famine could have been there, but they would have actually had the dream that went to Pharaoh. That's too profound. I've never, I've never looked at it that way. That they had their own sheaves. Yeah. Yo, that's deep. They had their own. That's part. too deep. Yeah. yeah. That's why even in the Egyptian version, they were called to come to the special come on, land sir. of Goshen mm. to rule together with Joseph. with Joseph. And some of them were recommended to Pharaoh during the time of Pharaoh and Joseph. That's so beautiful. So they also had so destiny people. I think the message is be careful who you share your dreams with. Yes, yes, yeah. And, uh, and, and, and definitely leave the dream. Don't mm. just leave it as a narrative. Yes. Go about and leave the dream. Mm. But sometimes these dreams and these life experiences, you say here on number 14, can leave you struggling mentally and emotionally. Your yeah. greatest struggle is because of your dream. Yes, I'll be, I'm, 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 I'll be very clear mm -hmm. here. Um, Mental illness is very connected to being gifted. Okay. Most people who are gifted are mm -hmm. gifted with a depth of gifting that your mental mind cannot gravitate mm. to a level where it starts to self-implode. Mm. Being gifted needs... Daniel saw a vision to a level where he became sick. Mm -hmm. And he says, I was sick. When mm. I, started, I read the books and started to comprehend, I became I sick. sick. Yes. Can you imagine the mind frame of John the Revelator? In, sure. in in drawing all those type of uh, pictures of uh, um, narratives of, of those beasts yes. that they did not have a lexicon for in that time mm. and he's seeing these things and he's asked to use the language of his time to depict a millennial event and do you think the, the mental the, the mind of people like that yeah. i can guarantee you if you don't have a strong mind and mental exercise mm. by that's why the bible says meditate on this word day and night mm. what is the purpose of meditating equilibrium yeah. balance to me to remain resolute to remain resolute because yeah. i would like i won't lie sir mm. some of these i, I always say now mm. when you read about ellen white mm -hmm. who have friends mm. what was her recreation of space to apprehend comprehend the things that the she things that seeing. you saw the things that you are saying, the visions that you are saying, sometimes you look stupid like a fool in saying them and when they are going to come. Because most of the time, the revelation doesn't fit where you are. Mm. When you are seeing those buildings in, in Empire Building burning yeah. at that time. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. for us now, come mm. back to here, mm. carrying a gift sir, or having this definitely can make Abatwasai. Mm-hmm. Why are they saying? Oh. But, and most of the time, you become worse. Okay. Most of them they become worse. Yeah, when you've done that process. Yes, because the psychology of handling a gift is 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 a dimension that most spiritual uh, 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 houses mm -hmm. don't look into. Mm -hmm. they, and we lose those gifts too early. Could it be the reason why? And I'm going to speak very clearly because by experience I've noted that as a church, as a faith, we struggle to maintain our gifted people. The, the, they become enemy number one for the church. I'm going to expand it beyond. I agree with you 100%. Uh -huh. The reason why the church could not angle Prince, the reason why the, the church could the not rock angle star. Michael Jackson, the rock star, Michael Jackson, Ma Tony Braxton, uh -huh. they leave because we don't know how to angle gifts. The church does not. I'm starting there. Yes. Because this is not an Adventist issue. It's a okay. church issue. All right. It's a global church issue the church mm. no the church has never been able to handle gifted people sure. we lose them mm. we don't have the lexicon you know they come to church they become stars and they steal the glory of christ because they mm. become fascinated beyonce says a statement they said she's mad she says i don't go to church because i i i, I hate taking the glory away from christ Jeez. and she says when i walk into church everyone's looking at me they, my intention was to worship but not yeah. worshiped 
Wow. Because and the surface changes. It, it changes. Simply because I've come in. I've come in. So I've contaminated the equation of worship. Yeah. The, so, and then when it comes to gifted people, yeah. one, we do not have a system of handling gifts. That's why it's a system. Maybe that's something you and the other minds we could come up with and say, how do we handle greatness? Hmm. When pres- pre- no, let me maybe just use maybe a celebrated person, uh, new, 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 is it new vest? No vest. comes to our church. How do we handle it? Hmm. Do we even know how to minister to them? Oh yeah, we, we don't even know. How, we don't even have the language. I'm gonna say something, sir. Mm-hmm. I don't believe Umunda de Sango may young and get a man's in for a trust for six months and had demonic equations of putting someone in water mm, and, and keep you for six out. months. Yeah. And, take, and when you're baptism, a pastor can't put you for three minutes under the water and no spiritual thing happens. And then <laughs> this one becomes a, 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 a believer. Yeah. And then when they come to church, yeah. we make them a deacon and they sit. Mm. A man or I was who partner with spirits. At that level. At that level. And comes to a church to a pastor who's never encountered a demon. So. And then you pastor this person. Can I can I tell you the honest truth? Mm. There's no theological sense in that. Mm. In let levels in the spirit are levels. levels. Yeah, they are realms. And demons even at Daniel in Daniel chapter ten. The Bible yes. says Gabriel was coming. Yeah, he was delayed. In Persia. What uh uh-uh. the Bible says he was detained. Wow. So, so it means he, tell me he was outranked. Sure. He met our, uh, we are, because angels have, what, where are you going? Mm-hmm. I am the, I am the spiritual region here because every territory is a spirit. Yeah. You know, going, until angelic reinforcement was left, to Michael, come. who's Michael? I have to go to Revelation. The, arch My, the archangel, because this one, he, even Gabriel is an archangel. Mm. But in the realm of authority and rank, he was outranked. Sure. But, ah! Yeah. Guess what happened? Michael came. Mm-hmm. Interfered mm. and took him out of detention mm. and says and he didn't say go. He says go and go to said, Daniel. Twenty one days I was in t- t- he was in jail. Yes, because he was outranked. Mm. So sir, mm. if spirits understand rank, yes, and if the Bible is a mark, yeah. the problem we have mm. is that we think the God of the New Testament. Mm-hmm. And the God now are not the same. So now, so the God of the Old Testament and the, God and the New, the New. Then yeah. we have a dispensation. Mm. We say the, the dispensation of grace. What God allowed there? What's wrong? Is wrong. I, mm. I don't under, I don't believe. But these are demons that came from the same realm. It's just that they fell and they came out with the same power. Same power. Yeah. The giftings of God are without reproof. Those powers were given by God. Mm. But now they are used for evil. Yes. And so God will judge them. God yeah. does not take away a gift and he gives you. Mm. He will judge you for how you use the gift. Mm. Or the gifts, the, every ability of the devil is divine sure. in its origin. essence, origin of etymology. Yeah. But in its function and use is demonic. Mm. And you're contending with that. That's right, sir. It's like one story I heard with Pastor is it Mazibugo was talking about that when the church was meeting and the preacher was preaching, he saw his car being stolen outside. <laughs> One of the fastest BMW. I don't know what model it was. He said being stolen. <laughs> the guy is being stolen outside. So he tells the deacon, hey, hey, hey we need to run after that. What is on the book? <laughs> <laughs> so he says, they get off, get into the deacon's car, and they chase this car. My goodness. And the preacher was like, do you see that car? See how it's moving? That's my car. You won't catch that car. I know it. <laughs> It is. It says you are not going. To, I love that. With your oh, wow, that's car. profound. And and so the point so is profound. exactly what you're saying. No, I hear you. God created this being. Hey. He, he knows what this guy can do. Yes. And therefore, you can't compete with him. You've got to be in the right realm of God. Absolutely. And I agree with you. And I think that's really something that that we face a lot. The struggles are deep, and the pain is deep, mm. and the hurt is brutal. Mm. For those who believe. Yeah. And often they do this alone. And you also say here, one of the things that also distinguishes a destiny marked man is that you you are determined, you are resilient, you are resolute, and you never give up. Yeah. You were saying that now when you were starting this business and all. Yes. I, I thank God I was stubborn. <laughs> because had I not been stubborn, yes, yes. having gone through what I went through, I'd have walked away. I would have. I'm telling you. And I think for someone out there who thinks this was easy, mm. I can tell them, mm. don't adore my calling mm. because you don't know what God took me through. He's hidden the struggle from us. 
Yes. We all see the fools. You see the lights. The beautiful cameras and all this. I always tell people, if I was to take off my spiritual shirt and show you the scars mm. that were stabbed into me, not by strangers, but by people I know, mm. you would then realize it is not easy. It takes a lot of resoluteness and resilience. And I think for me, to confirm that point, mm. if God never spoke to you and made the calling clear, don't even go there. Mm. You will come back and, and and leave this thing and become the bitterest enemy of God. Mm. Uh, that's, that's, that's so beautiful. So that resilient tenacity not to yeah. give up is, is your honors. As much mm. as you are gifted and marked, yes. that, that it's your honors to you. Because when you give up, what happens? It's the greatest loss. You've lost. And then you are a shell of destiny. You have, actually, that's where I wrote about the book No More Miscarriages. I, yes. You know, Oprah Shields. Mm -hmm. I had a story where she miscarried a child. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm currently praying for one of uh, yeah. uh, the young ladies now. Mm -hmm. who, you, they lost the child at seven months, just like Brooke. And then the doctor says, we have to induce labor. Oh. So you have to carry full term for two more months yes. with this medication, antibiotics, and then your waters will break. Uh -huh. Do you know the pain of carrying something that's dead, but it looks alive? Oh, man. Uh, you know, and then the oh, resilience man. to this to is go through to go it. through that and then have another child. Oh, my. And then not give up and say, no, 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 after this one, I'll have another child. Yeah. That's the resilience of a destiny carrier. Hmm. That I may have lost a baby. Yes. But you know what? Yeah. I will carry. And, and that's the resilience. Loss does not threaten you. Hmm. Loss becomes your friend. No, no, no. When it comes... When you have a, you are destined, you have to go through every test mm -hmm. so that when you're in the place of elevation, yes, there is no demonic bickering that can take you out. You know, I always say to young pastors that one yeah. of the things that must happen when you're married, mm -hmm. your marriage must be tested. And if you're going to make mistakes, make mistakes when you are small. Okay. Before because you get to the limelight. Before you get to the limelight. Because uh, when you fall from a high place, the sound is louder than when you fall from a low place. Yes. So and the applause is even louder. Uh, absolutely. And the onus is on you. Yes. So that's so brilliant that what you're saying, so yeah. to say. That stubborn, resilient tenacity, say, you know mm. what? Lost has not threatened me. Yeah. In fact, I went for one year mm. with not even one subscriber mm. on our channel. One year. Pa. And that's why I remember who was our first uh, wow. uh, um, subscriber. Because I longed to for one to come through. That's heavy. This ministry of over 131,000 subscribers, subscribers yes. went for one full year with not even one subscriber. That's heavy. And when finally... And you were on. Yeah. We didn't stop. We kept posting. Some of the videos didn't even have views. That's, <laughs> and you kept recording, paying money, we, paying production. We kept putting it up. We kept putting it up. That's why when the first subscriber from the kingdom of Lesotho came through, Oh. We celebrated it, and I still have his number, and I know who they are because they confirmed that if I can start with one, mm. I can get to one million. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so this is same example of the jet, the struggle. When you stand at the airport and you look at the jet taking off, you would think this thing will never take off mm. Mm. because it's slow. It's very sluggish. Even when you're inside, you can yeah. feel this thing is too heavy, man. <laughs> it's too heavy, but give it time. Come on, sir. With consistency. Yeah. Give it time. With the throttle pressed down, this thing will take off. Mm. And when it takes off, it's not easy to land it. Hey. <laughs> when it takes off. It no, it's, not it's not easy, easy to, bring to it down. just bring it down. Ah. It's a long... But when it goes, it goes. I love that. And so I, need, I, I think for me, that is such a powerful point. But I want us to move on to the next one. In terms of your faith and your hope, you use a very good term there. That's number 16. Mm. You say your hope and your faith is infectious. Yeah. We're living in a pandemic right now. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and we know what infectious means. Yeah. So t talk to us about that. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi said, I would have been a Christian. Oh, yeah. They preach very good. Mm. And their theology and their soundedness is brilliant but they suffer from the same defects mm. that we have. Mm. I've not seen it lived. All right. Says I've not seen one. I've heard them. Mm. I've read them. Mm. But I've not seen one. Who lives. Who lives it. So let me stay. 
because both Christian and Hindu We're struggling on struggle that on that one. Um, mm. the, the greatest message is mm. one lived. The greatest gift is yes. one lived experience. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, because what is the major advantage mm -hmm. of those with team charlatans? Mm. What is their major? They are very infectious. They are very charismatic. Very charismatic. Yeah. Very yeah. infectious. To a level where the Bible says they can deceive the very elect. Elect. That's how yes. infectious it is. So mm. if our message is not that infectious, mm. and for me, nothing is as that as one who lives it. Right now, we love Elon Musk. Yes. Yes. He's infectious. Yeah, Whether I mean, he speaks his mind. He it doesn't matter who yeah. against. He even jokes at Bill Gates and says all sorts of things. Yeah, and and he's, he allows it. Yeah, he, he gets away with it. Wow, you know Malema. Mm, our own. Yeah. Malema, our own. Let me come on. Our own. Yeah. Very infectious, intelligent. Yeah. yeah. Powerful. Infectious. Can ruffle a lot of feathers. Ruffle a lot of feathers. Cannot get caught for. You can't break his focus. Mm. Yes. What, what no. he stands for. You see it in him. Now, before we even talk of Malema, one is sitting in front of me. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so infectious, so charismatic. Goodness. You can talk about yourself. <laughs> it's very difficult to do that. I know, I know. But I've seen how powerful you are and very captivating when you speak. I mean, I'm listening to you right now. I'm almost tempted to just say, Melissa, just shut up. No, no, right. you're doing good. You're doing well. You're helping me a lot. <laughs> You're amazing. You are infectious, actually. You, you are. Oh, thank you. You are. Thank no, you, you are. So much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now, number 17 says, the one of the marks of the, 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 the destiny marked agents is that they love worship. Yeah. And yeah. they love prayer. And they love to be in the presence of God. You ch those are the pillars that undergird mm -hmm. me. Mm. Uh, when I'm, you compromise my worship, yeah, you compromise all those three elements you've mm. mentioned there. Yeah, you you you've killed it. This yes. is why it's. I believe you are infectious with what you worship. All right, being infectious is actually exhibiting and betraying what you worship. Mm. I am an addict of God's presence. All right, I am an addict of His Word. Mm. Someone says that even if you tell me that this thing is a great work, it's mm. okay. I can mm. give you the benefits. I'm a patient man now. All right, patience is not my virtue. Mm. So even on character virtue that they give me, I've seen this thing work. I've seen it work. I've tested, tested mm. it. I've experienced it. Yeah. So for me, I I, I personally believe that that's what you, actually to worship. Uh, to praise and to connect and mm. to do all those things. Yes. A, a result that I'm sold out to this thing. This thing here is not something in Zelimali or right. anything. No, actually, Pam, I can say with you, this is more an expense to you. Absolutely. Than it is an investment. <laughs> an investment. Yeah, it, it takes It's more. a kingdom investment, yes. Yes. Physically, you yeah. are planting physical it, seeds. Yeah. Your time, mm. your, your family, mm -hmm. your wife, and mm -hmm. things that money cannot buy. Buy. Yeah. But you are sold out. Yeah. Worship for me is not in the synagogue. Okay. Worship is in the platform of your life. All right. Your life is the stage whether I can tell that that's a worshiper or not. Mm. You don't have to have a badge. You don't have to have a wrist pen. Yeah. I'm a believer. You don't have yes. to have all these uh, 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 these uniforms, these and, uniforms. Uh, and markers of, Act of identity. Yeah. Actually, those are for those who don't worship. Ah, to cover up. So that you show me <laughs> that you are in worship. The other day, yeah. we were fasting. Yes. We entered an Indian shop. Mm -hmm. They were burning these things. Yes. When I entered the shop, fasting heavy. Mm. The guy comes and says, sorry, please, I ask you gently, mm -hmm. leave my shop. Ah. I say, why? All right. I'm buying. Um, why I'm, is I'm it? I'm here for, yeah. Is it? Am I a query, query? Am I? I say, no, 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 no. Ah. That's not the issue. He says, you are disturbing my things. Ah. Point blank. I'm not, I'm giving you. I'm telling you that no 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 no. I'm, the I'm not bad. of God says you are disturbing my thing. He was burning this thing. Their floor. What you are disturbing? You know they. He taught me something. Yeah. And uh, I. You know when they burn incense. Incense. Yes. Or when even Jews burn incense, which uh -huh. is frankincense. Uh, yeah, frankincense. Uh, yes. Jews, when you burn it, uh -huh. when you, you know there, there's the mystery of the smoke. Okay. If you look at the Bible, God's presence everywhere. Yes. They yes. smoke. Yes. Moses, Moriah, Sinai, smoke always accompanies the prayers of the righteous are like mm, so. Smoke, yeah. There's a mystery of smoke that the Jews are fascinated with. Mm. Now, the, this is the essence of the smoke, the language of smoke. All right. When you burn incense in a 
spiritually clean place, uh -huh. it rises up. Straight up. Straight up. All right. If there's spiritual contention and bad energy, yeah, it's it, it, it flickers wiggles, around, flickers yeah. around, yes. and they say pray to a level where it stabilizes and it goes up. Mm. It says the moment you enter my shop, look at my flames. Aye, aye, aye. It says when you enter, look what's happening here. There's a fight here. It says you are the only one who's contending, calling my. It says please leave my shop, please. Ouch. Ouch. I don't want your money. I don't anything. You are messing my the things. Presence of God. The presence of God. Goes has its own voice. You. It goes before you. And I always say, when you are truly anointed, you don't have to announce it. Yes. And again, for those who are gifted, if you are really gifted, yeah. don't try, to, they say, don't try to shine when the light is not on you. Okay. All right. When God gives you the stage light, yeah. it's your moment. Yes. Sometimes God hides you because you're not ready. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Right. You also say number 18, the, the, the destined ones, they go beyond their culture. And oh, their time. Thank you. They transcend their culture and their time. Yes. This is exactly why you, I want to go back to this gift of saying, why is that churches cannot keep gifted? Because they yes. go, you started speaking about virtual, virtual church. 2012. 2012. Yeah. It was not, in, that was not our culture. I no. mean, in that time we didn't have, in that time I think Facebook was not yet there. No, it was. The sense of mix it. Yes, exactly. When you were talking about yes. that. Yes. Oh, 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 hi, f f f yeah. f the only thing that was there was YouTube, but it was still very small. Yeah, no, no, no Skype. There were battles, yes. Battles. Those were, you are not on Skype. You, yeah, you are talking about guy. virtual church. And we are saying, you are saying virtual church. How is that going to be? And in, in Facebook, I think it'd be very new and not many of us. No, actually, it. by that time, it was not even there. It wasn't even there, right? Yeah. The only, even live streaming on YouTube was not even as common as it is now. You know, it wasn't. Basically, yeah. No, it basically, then was a mix it. And you were talking about a virtual. Mm -hmm. Tell me, sir. What mm -hmm. did you get that from men? No, and you're not even talking a church no. language. You're talking life language. Yes, and you're talking about the avenues and the highways of expanding kingdom reach. Absolutely. But your language. When did I say these things? Yes, <laughs> twenty. Yeah, you say these things. Twenty twelve. I remember wow. very well. And wow. and for me, when you're saying guys, you know, the new church and the new congregations yes. and many are virtual. virtual. Mm -hmm. Celebrities are following that standard mm -hmm. you are talking about. Mm -hmm. Twitter. I, I think the, the God made it very clear long before. In fact, let me tell you this. I didn't even know what it was look, going to look like. <laughs> can I, can I, can I, can I, wow. can I mess you up? Wow. I was, I was doing videos, but I was not the first uploader of my videos on YouTube. Because mm. I didn't know how this thing was going to work. But the, but the clarity and the calling and the zeal was clear. Was clear. Yeah. Yeah. Usimba, Usimba Mhau mm. from the mm. UK. Mm. He's the one who uploaded my first video, Ramaponga, and then boom. And I'm like, Zimba, how did you get this thing there? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Me now I'm struggling to put my videos on a cloud server. Yeah, and I say for YouTube. Space. You know, I touch my file with YouTube. Now I like this. Wow. And so we started. Come on. Now putting it on YouTube. But even by then, the bandwidth was so bad. Mm. 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 You know, I would go to our guys at SID and ask them to upload for me. Wow. But the vision was alive. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. they are they are way beyond their time. And that's what gets them into trouble. Yes. Because and, they don't have a language for where you are. So we don't And they're disrupt disrupting this one. Manna. When the children of Israel pray, asked for bread mm -hmm. and God gave them, they called it manna. What is, what is it? this? And this is why this is why I say this is very important. Uh -huh. You were not read. You were read as a virus. Sure. Your language was not when you never It's not compatible to Yes, yeah. and you are never called for where you are. Wow. You are called for where you are going, wow. and that's why that you will never fit in. So the language betrays your your destiny. You know what I say about that? When you live in your hotel or your house mm. for a wedding, mm. you don't dress for the street. Mm. You dress for the destination, and when they will see you in the township, dress yeah, yeah, you're like, what are you doing? Yes, sir. And and so you begin to announce where you're going. Absolutely. Even the moment By how you're dressing. Exactly, and that gets into trouble with the culture of the day because mm. you are for the future. And I think that's a very powerful point. Now, you you talk about here number nineteen. We're almost getting to talent. You're saying oh. you love people, and often you forgive easily, and that becomes your major downfall. Hmm. Because you cannot be called and not love people. The prerequisite to be called is for people. The calling revolves around people, regardless. I know that's a language that maybe we may not have in our in our ecclesia as a movement, mm -hmm. but in the fivefold ministry, mm 
mm-hmm. of uh, Ephesians 4. Yeah. Um, so some he gave apostles, some he gave this, some he gave Pastors, that, some he gave that. Bishops, but yeah. all those ministries were for the perfecting of the church. Mm-hmm. They were given for. Mm-hmm. So which means that every gift God endows a human being with is for his bride, it's yeah. for mankind. Mm. So the prerequisite is, I've never seen, that's why I have had time looking at these pastors who are carried and like, like, like kings and mm. you enter in chariots, they're carrying you and you. I said, this is not for people. Mm. That's it's my about problem. You. It's about you. Yeah, your ego. Your ego. Yeah. Ego inflation mm. and all. Don't tell me about pro- protocol because people know how to manipulate the lexicon of spirituality to enable mm. to justify nonsense. Mm. Let me tell you, be a simple man. And this is why you realize that most black people, because of our cultural extravagancy, yeah. when we have church and have this, we become clowns. Mm. Mm. I went to one church, I was invited to a white church. Yeah. It was a 2,500 seat. Wow. We, re- we arrived there, we are sitting there, I'm going there, I'm sitting there with my wife, I'm sitting yeah. and... I'm seeing them, and then the church is there. It was a Friday. All right. And uh, I'm trying to look for the... The echelons the, of the, the higher... Yeah, the, the pastor. All he, right. Because I didn't know him. I was invited mm. through my, my social books. Yes. I'm getting there. The, this, let me get there. They sit there. The seats. Mm. I'm a staff and I won't. Mm-hmm. I will, I'm a nice... The special offer. couches for the... I'm, I'm seeing the guy is wearing a nice leather jacket. He's praising God. Yeah. I'm, I'm there. They say, oh, this is the pastor, the founder of this. He has a church in Australia. He has a church here. He says, wow. this is the founder. I'm, I said, and then I looked how I was dressed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm overdressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, this is the pastor. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, this is the owner. This is the one. You don't see him. Wow. Ni puma pants. Mm. tayatsu. A model. Simple car. <laughs> it, it died to an old car. <laughs> go to his home. Mm-hmm. Then go to his home. All right. Then you now see the mansion. Then you now they see the kids. Ah. Because they invest home. Low profile. All right. It's not about me. I don't yes. think. 90% of black pastors are always hijacked because you're announcing yourself. Yes. With the big cars. We have Lula Lomond. There is a book called The Millionaire Next Door. Uh huh. Uh huh. You bump into them at pick and pay, pushing a trolley wearing slippers, wow. and you don't see it's a millionaire. Wow. See a black millionaire. You he are so open target. Shopping. They yeah. don't look. At, they don't have to ask. Mm-mm. They say hijack that one. <laughs> <laughs> so you must love the people. You must love the people. Sir. Not it's about not about you. D- and, and 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 this element of forgiving mm. is a deep one mm. because most people who are destiny agents, they trust people so much, yeah. and such that they are often taken for granted mm. and sometimes they're cheated mm. they're hated yeah. and and often you have to find yourself that you have to forgive the people yeah. that hurt you because you've got something bigger they will let me even say this mm-hmm. the episcopal way of ordaining bishops mm-hmm. i was watching um, an ordination of some bishop mm. i was invited and mm. I was listening. I was trying to understand the callers they were mm. and all this. So the man was, it took time to go into the ecclesiology of all that. I'm listening. Mm. He says, you see, this caller, this white caller, people don't understand about the dark ages of AD 31 where okay. there were the persecutions of Nero, Emperor Nero, mm. and all that. And how the the law said that when you're guillotine or when mm-hmm. you're beheading, mm-hmm. if you hit once and you miss, the guy is free. That's a law. Sure. So you had to hit it. You only hit it once. That was once. the law of Gilot. Yeah. So what they would do is that the on when when the when the martyrs were being taken for Gilot, yeah. they, they would put metal collars around. Oh. Then they would put the white collar on top, oh. so that when they put there, when that thing it hits, hits it, it can it it, it, it injures them but can't go through. So it will fracture, but and then take them out. Mm. And that's where the concept of e collar came from. Okay, to protect you. To protect you. All right, and 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 where I'm going with that uh-huh. is that the the, the guy or being ordained, they'll take something and they'll start spit, putting water on them and say, "Do you know that these people who minister will spit on you, mm. will lie on you, mm. they'll spit on you, and they'll, they'll do that thing you, on them, they'll, they'll betray this. you, they'll hurt you." Are you willing to say that as I'm pouring this water, symbolizes their spit? You will mm. still pray for them, mm. you will still love them, mm. you won't take it personal. Mm. Do you swear? Wow. And when I'm making those horses, I swear wow. that even if they do this to me, I will be the humble one. Because they know when we talk about forgiveness, if they say, Hallelujah, yes, glory to God in the highest at yes. your entry, yes, and then 
crucify him, give us palambas. Mm. The same people that say hallelujah mm. are the same people that you must be able to be on the cross and still say they are spitting on me. Forgive them for they don't know what they do. So yeah. forgiveness, forgive people before you minister to them. Oh yeah. That's forgive a them. Christ. Yeah. Before they do anything, forgive. Yeah. Sure. There was an for their forgiveness. So when you know you are just saying, I, I am Then you know the anointing well. is not on you. <laughs> when you use the pulpit to hit people, to address yeah. people, you are not. The yeah. pulpit, and this is the issue, sir. Yes. Understand the nature of humanity. I always say to people, always take, a gra always take every compliment with mm -hmm. a grain of salt. Okay. Take it and never judge the power of your ministry by how many amens. All and right. claps people give you and that the is likes, not and, and the likes subscriptions and whatever no no yes. they, they're not like you they like what you do mm. <laughs> and you, you may have and you may have a problem between you and the people mm. because they like what you do but they don't like you i like to yeah. say they like who you represent christ wow. and they want to feed on that not you Jesus. When I so costly, what do you think is me? No, it's Christ in you. Ah. Can you imagine the donkey that day when Jesus was going <laughs> Hey, the people are clapping for me. People, uh, no way, no more. It's the person was sitting on top of I you. I saw the joke of those two donkeys. The next day they were talking. Yeah. Now I went, how? No, it wasn't about you. It was oh, the cargo. I was carrying. carrying. Come on, sir. That it made you important. Cargo. And you walked on. Today's an ordinary day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today you're not even on the. And to us, who are called, it's who's, you talk about the mentor, it's who, you, who sits on you on you yes it's who sits on you i hope someone can hear that out there we're getting to the tail end of this discussion and i want us to wrap up with the last um the last three mm. 2021 and 22 we're talking about 22 marks of a destiny marked man yes sir. number 20 you say you have near death experiences we talked about this earlier mm. even in the womb even in the womb yes near yeah. death experiences yeah well those are important because any time a gift was born in the Bible, they were born on the hit list of the devil. Sure. Moses was born, killed them, sure. throw them in the Nile. Jesus was born, killed them. So mm -hmm. the enemy will always put you on his hit list to eliminate you quickly. Mm -hmm. So death is your friend. I wrote in my book that death has always called my name. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how many times, how many near death experiences I've had mm -hmm. to a level where I'm foolishly thinking I'm immortal. Sure. That's foolishness because even at the time where I, uh, I've, contemplated suicide seven times in my life all have been Jeez. useless the last one i remember was when i was going through something which was my last yeah i went and bought a vial of insulin wow and it was 100 i tell you by god i took it all people tell me that bunch of 30 you get into a coma mm -hmm. i put 100 mil insulin i just passed out made an accident with my car nearly rot it off Shh. nothing major didn't go to hospital uh -huh. didn't go into a coma i'm talking about 100 vial insulin sir Wow. insulin and and because because you will realize that life can affect you young the enemy does not wait for you to mature to attack mm -mm. you mm -mm. they attack you young mm -mm. the yes. things i went through as a child going mm. through scrambled my mind mm. the the atrocities the pain the pathology i was experienced as a young person yeah affected me so much that it gave me a loss of esteem perforated mm. me that it gave me the option of death exit as exit which is the option of cowards but mm. god said no <laughs> you're not going wow. to god as a coward so yes you would have that and one of the things i want to say to someone maybe you might have a gift and you are called and you're going through the 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 the, the, the phase mm. of challenge mm. god will always test you before he trusts you oh yeah oh man so <laughs> those things are not for you therefore the for, test is for the testimony the testimony you know mm. and i said the other day that when god put the three boys in the fire I've had beautiful exegesis mm -hmm. from angelic speed mm -hmm. to uh, the fourth man in the furnace. Yes. That's good. Yes. For exegeting the text. All right. But let me say, sir, my piece of contribution. Uh -huh. uh, it had nothing to do with the boys. Oh, yeah, man. At all. Come on. Now. God, had, he, he, those boys, God already had known that yeah. he says, okay, we leave this. If we perish here, we perish. We want you to know we will that he was they left a clause that. He might allow us to perish. Yes. He's unpredictable. Mm. But we want to leave this in case we perish. Mm. King, he is still God. Wow. And we were not going to bow to this thing. Wow. Put us in. God was teaching the fire. 
that there are some boys you can't touch. <laughs> so the lesson was not to the boys. They knew. Yeah. The lesson was to the fire. That sure. there are people's faith who you can't consume. Mm. There are people's convictions who you can't consume. Yes. So sometimes when God sees you as a cold person, yeah. don't take it personal. There's nothing to do with you. God will allow cancer to God. eat you. Yes. yes. You said you were sick. Yeah. And then you said in that sickness, it had nothing to do with you. Yeah. It had to do with the sickness. That there are people who you can do certain anything. You can do. You, they are lock faith, them you, in. They lock them in. And that's it. And so, so when you come out of that, that's your testimony, not for you, for somebody else. I wrote that book, sir, yeah. about a victim of the one assignment. Let me actually get that. Andrew just passed me that copy. I think we need to, we need to show our viewers that yeah. we're not talking about things that are just <laughs> mediocre. We're talking about real things that, are, that, 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 that God has done. And I, I love this cover, man. Thank this you. Is a, you can open it. I brought it for you. <laughs> this is a... I, I hope you can see it right there. This is from Vincent Marfu. And a victim of divine assignment. Yes. I'm going to break it on set. Break it, sir. <laughs> yes. So, so you go through near-death experiences. experiences. I've gone there. I've done, I've taken pills. You know, at home, there were pills that were called malaria pills. I'm a norolon. Norolon, yes. Yeah, was it, sir? Yes, I know. We, we, yeah. You go, sir. No, you don't take those for you go for yeah. malaria. Yeah, you, you go. I, I they will assist you very fast. To go. Failed, me. <laughs> they failed me many times. Wow. But the issue about it, why I even wrote about those twenty two signs of being marked? Yeah, they frame the whole experience because the book people ask what is about. The book is about about being molested and abused as a young person. Yes, as a man and having other virtues on the side. Mm. There's not a book about just me being molested and injured. It's a book of what life tried to do. To me, wow. growing up. Wow. And so, when you say death, you are dealing with death. Death becomes your friend. Mm. I said this at the SID yeah. you know, radio station that day. The guy yes. who read that said, death has always called my name. What do you, do you mean? I said, mm. death has always called my name. It knows my address. But it has been for, <laughs> forbidden from taking me. Taking there me are out. some of you now yes. who survived accidents. You've been in an accident four times. Mm. You even tried to commit suicide and the rope broke. Mm. You tried everything and God said, no, why? Why does he preserve? Because God always preserves what's still assigned. Sure. There you go. And when death calls you, yeah. it means life called you first. Wow. It called wow. you first. Wow. Now, this is a book that you're saying is a key to conquering the most gruesome battles of life. Yes, sir. I'm going to take time to read this and I encourage you to Please get in touch with Vincent, the bishop, as we call him, and uh, the warfare will be won because there are tools to help you in that book to understand that. But let's look at number um, number 20. Mm. I think you mentioned here a very powerful uh, point on number 20, and you say, actually, it's number 21. Mm. People don't get you. Mm. Often times, that includes even your own family. Yeah, that, that's, 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 that's the most painful one. Yeah. Which breeds the wounds of rejection, father mm. wounds, mother wounds, sibling wounds, mm. because of not being rejection from anybody else is is okay except from the family. Yeah, I want to say this one mm. that the purpose of your family yeah. is to prepare you for an enemy. Okay, it's a battleground. It's a battleground for preparation. So don't think families are just given. Families are battlefield. They are preparation. The manure to feed when, your soul. Yes. I'll go to your Joseph. When the Bible says that when Joseph survived the betrayal of his brothers, mm -hmm. Joseph be survived the death threats from his brothers, mm -hmm. the scandalization from his brothers, mm -hmm. there's nothing outside Joseph's house that God had not prepared for him to see out. In fact, all of his battles were at home. Were at home. Mm. Actually, his battles are, 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 are nothing to compare to what he... When he said, ah, oh, you are scandalizing me with the Pharaoh's wife. Ah, oh, Small, small. If you hear where I'm coming from, <laughs> actually, my father thinks I'm dead. Sure, I'm a dead man. I'm walking. a dead man, put in prison. But the issue is that that was preparation. Jeez. So every person that assaulted me from my house, every person that has ever said you'll never be anything, the names they've given me were preparation for what ministry is all about. People will call you a charlatan. People will call you this. I've been called that at home. Yeah. So now. What you guys say for me? Actually, there, there are videos I saw of you in Nigeria and people were like, ah, Uze Tugile is God. Let me tell you. That's an Adventist church in Nigeria. Uh -huh. Victory Sanctuary by Pastor yes. Buki. Yes. I was called to do offering mm. in Nigeria, an yeah. offering service. Yeah. And I went, I'm a creative person. Yes. And I said, a man of God is... Um, um, is uh, is an altar in God's house. That creativity got you into trouble. Very. And then I said, <laughs> Pastor, come and sit here. I said, today, honor your pastor. Wow. And Nigerians are very extravagant people. 
Of course. And very prayerful people. Yes. Very amazing people. I see them on their weddings. Yo, yes. So when we're Just giving tissue. offering there, yeah. they started putting money in my own pocket. Wow. They became a financial and economic stampede. People were putting money because wow. of the, you know, I'm, as you say, I have this energy when I'm, and I was young, I don't have that now. Yeah. yeah. When I was young, I used to conduct choirs standing on pure, say, Master the Tempest, is yeah. and do all that, all those. I was young, I was like that. When I went there, yes. I'm talking, it's the first time I'm talking to 2,500 people. Sure. And you're like, the people are like a sea. It's the first time, and yeah. not with that energy, it's my first time in Nigeria. Hmm. And I'm doing all these things. I'm saying, God will bless you. God will bless you. Yeah. My, I, I starter. I do yeah. have a starter. All right. A life. Now it's mild. And then no, I but said, you have not started since you started. Yeah, well, thank God. <laughs> but I do have it. My tongue sometimes right. gets that. Yeah. But yeah. They, and I have a lisp. All right. Yes. When I'm doing that, then I say, Satan will bless you. So I'm talking, God will bless you. God will bless you. God. Then I'm saying, I mean, I say, Satan will Satan bless, bless you. you. Then I say, Satan will bless you. It was exactly two seconds, 14. Two yeah. seconds and 14. Yeah. Milliseconds. And that was in, in, in that time, in 2013, 12. Yeah. When I come back, they waited. Yeah. It is only when Bishop Maponga was starting. Yeah. Call. Mm hmm. That we correlated. And I was right. with him when yes. he was doing call, which was not a church, it was a ministry. Yes. That was a ministry outreach. Absolutely. Yeah. In context of Ecclesia. Yeah. They, ne they were not tight, collected. There yeah. was never that. But we enjoyed fellowship. We'd call yes. Benjamin Tube and all these people to come. Mm. Now this happens. Yeah. When we go there, that first service, someone uh -huh. from Durban all right. cut. That, that clip. That, but that's when we, I announced that. Oh, we love Sent it. only two minutes, 14 seconds. Yeah. Certain will bless you. Certain will bless you. Cut. <laughs> and that. <laughs> but now, no, 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 no. Yeah, there I saw is that one. Mouth. I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, satanist, satanist, <laughs> satanist. And I say, okay, so you have only one 14 second clip. That's all you had. In all the footage of me, that's in, all you in had. all my entire footage, mm. this is representative of me. Yes. If at least in other things I had made the same mistake. <laughs> you, you, you know, you know, us media people, yeah. we can slaughter you and create Ooh. words you never say. Yeah, bo. There's a brother in Cape Town, I'm sure you might be watching, Ubaba Lovala. There's a clip that circulated of him talking about Zimbabweans and saying, go back home. You don't uh, do this here. Yeah, la, 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 la. and says, go back home. Yeah, mm. it was, if you go on YouTube, you'll find it on Z Facebook. Zeno they say xenophobic. xenophobic. <laughs> then I went and I listened to the message. The holistic message. And I couldn't find that clip. So people took words, shifted them around. So the clip, me thank God, the clip, I even told the people, they asked me, I said, don't bring it down. Yeah. Don't bring the clip. Leave it there. I said, leave it there. Yeah. Because people were now saying, uh, tell those guys, like, no, why must they bring it down? The message was good. Yeah. What they must do, take that clip, yeah. put it there, and Go refer it to there. Yeah, look in the And say, if you want the, the whole link of the message is here. Is here. Then hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so people will send you to the grave. Yeah. And I think that's for me... A perfection of the spirit of the accuser of brethren. Yeah. One of the things that the devil will do when he wants to kill a man of God, and I want to say yeah. this to any man of God out mm -hmm. there, because I think that we no longer value integrity. Mm. Integrity is your currency in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. All right. Integrity is your currency. Wow. Without integrity, you have no currency. And the first thing the enemy will always try to do it's is to assassinate it. your character. Yeah. And that's why we say, be of few words. Be of few deeds mm. and count your steps. Just Don't yesterday, be I was reading. Jesus said, "Let your yes be your yes, and your no, and your no. Anything after that, that's Matthew five. Yeah, right, it's sir. from the enemy. Yeah, yeah. Anything after after you say yes, so that you got it. Yeah. Oh, so no come after that is from the enemy. <laughs> Let's finish this with the, the wow. last mark of the destiny mark, man. You say you are willing to lead when others won't. Yeah, that's leadership. We are leading. You go where others don't go. fear to go. And you take the blame. Hmm. I'm going to say this. Yeah. You take the blame. Hmm. You know, when uh, when we were talking about that clip, they asked me, did you say it? Because I was being given advice. No. Yes. They, 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 what did they say? I know this PR manager said that. Uh, they said, uh, 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 don't deny it. Uh -huh. And uh, say it. Yeah. I said, no, I said it. Yeah. I said, I said those words. It was a, it was a slip of my tongue. 
Mm. I'm young. I'm preaching. I'm. I I'm speak. moving. You can tell speed. me the speed that I used to preach it. I'm down now. I said it. It's a mistake. I'm human. I yes. said it. I. There's no other film you can ever have of me saying mm. I, I worship the devil ever mm. in my life. Mm. It was a mistake. Mm. And I said it. Yeah. And it ends there. Anything after that. I say those words. It's no, nobody doctored it. It's me. Yeah, it came out from my words. In my words. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and that was a mishap of my, mm. of my teaching. That's leadership. Leadership is do yes. not deny your mistakes. Mm. Embrace them. Embrace them. And your mistakes make you... Actually, it's not a mistake that destroys a minister of God okay. or a politician. All right. It's how you handle a mistake. Ah, in fact, in media, one of the lessons I got from one of my mentors says, there's nothing called a crisis in media. Mm. Every opportunity of a bleeding, bleeding situation is a, an opportunity to market your brand. Yep. Wow, that and is get powerful. Known. Yeah, uh, so you cannot run away and hide. When you've made a mistake, accept it. Yeah. In, in fact, the quicker you do, yep. the better you move on. Because I've discovered mm. you are a headline today. My God. But tomorrow you're no longer the headline. Exactly. Exactly. So don't, don't fight it here because you continue being a headline until the day you say yes. Yes. So, wow. so, so, so it's very clear that you are willing to lead. Maybe just give us your closing remarks as we, as we wrap this thing. Someone might be listening out there and say, yeah, I hear you, Bishop. I hear you, Brother Mafu. But what next? Now that I've seen some of the signs, oh. how do you handle the realization that I am called mm. and there is a mantle on me. Mm. I have a destiny mm. with divinity. How do you handle it? Um, what a beautiful question. I think that that's prolific and profound. Mm. Every David needs a Samuel. Oh. Or you will die in the mountains, Ooh. shepherding goats and sheep. Ooh. Simply the recognition of greatness is not sufficient enough. Mm. You need to find a midwife mm. that can help you grow your baby. Wow. Or you will have a stillborn or you'll have a phantom pregnancy. Wow. You will look pregnant, and the Bible in Isaiah says you give birth to wind. Sure. So one of the things that I always tell people is that once you discover that you're called in a particular calling, find someone who flows in what you identify with. A mentor. A mentor. And mentorship is the shortcut to success. Mm -hmm. um, pain yeah. is God's lowest method of teaching a fool that mm. has refused to sit at the feet of a mentor. Jeez. When people are not sufficient for God to teach you, he will literally employ pain. Hmm. Every instruction is construction. Right. And every place of pain is the evidence of an ignored instruction. Mm. So if you are gifted right now, you're a musician, you carry music. Because for me, I think that the age that we are in is yeah. an amazing age. Yeah. An amazing age. Yes. If you are gifted as a musician and you want to be different in your ministry. Mm -hmm. Find someone who flows in that thing. Mm -hmm. Dress your gift. Mm -hmm. I think that one of the things that we are not taught, which I'm going to say, yeah. is that learn to economize your gift. Okay. The Bible says a what man's does that gift. Mean? A man's gift shall create room. Oh yeah. Many of you are content with singing in church. church. All right. gift to take care of your life. Mm. God has given you the gift to sustain your life. The law of duality of the, the universe. Yeah, boss. When you breathe in oxygen, you must give back. Yes. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. Carbon. Even yes. God is saying, God takes in, God takes out. Mm. Thing, something that I won't say on your show. It might get in trouble. <laughs> because people are thinking that, why would the loving God create hell? This is Bishop's teaching. Nobody right. does, and it's just our <laughs> conversation. Yes, yes. Edit this out or whatever. <laughs> this is it, sir. Yeah. I believe that God takes in something and God takes out something. Mm -hmm. Because we were created in like him. Yeah, so hell was not created for the devil. Mm. Hell was there before the devil. Hell All is right. a place of All hanging. Right. Yes, right. people don't. People no. God didn't create hell for Satan, because right. if the devil forces God to create, then God is under. Mm. God is mm. not inspired to create. So that by place what was there. That place was part of. Let me say this. This is me. Yeah. Hell was designed to handle divine toxins. God breathes in something, God breathes out something. Mm. The toxins that come from the Creator can only be handled in hell. Mm. So when God breathes out, it's hell that sustains the toxins that come from Him. Because God has to take in worship and God has to take out something. Mm. The, let me make it nice so that it's not bad. Yeah. The divine carbon dioxide mm. 
uh-huh. that comes from where God is it consumed is in consumed hell. in hell hell was never meant for man that's why it's sulfuric it's sulfuric and it's, <laughs> it's toxins that are not in creatorial dimensions of a creature sure. so now god says oh when you sin mm-hmm. you become a divine toxin you belong there you belong there hmm. so sin contaminates you mm. to become you are still divine, yeah. but intoxicated. Let me bring you back now. I see <laughs> you've <laughs> gone deeper. So, way off. To everybody that has a gift. Someone is sitting there and worried. I'm cold. So, mentorship. Mentorship. You need to find a mentor. Yes. To nature your gift. You need and to use grow. your gift to, 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 to feed from your gift. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The purpose of the church is to rehearse okay. your gift. And be released. And be released. Do not try to establish your empire in church. And start fighting system. Hey, my start fighting things. Don't do that. The church already has an established system. Uh, Use it as a platform to sh- like. Look at us. We started preaching in pathfinders. We didn't yeah. need any of you, the podium you gave me to preach as a pathfinder. Is the same. Is the using. same I'm using now. I don't need a church now. I can confirm that. Hallelujah. Sir. The speaking, the ability to teach and explain. I learned it in AY. AY. So pretend that you're a Sabbath mm-hmm. school student. All these PRs skills people don't understand that yeah church is not just about worshiping god yeah. the skill that's there from it's just being a superintendent sabbath school superintendent yeah. it teaches you organizational skills mm. teaches you pr mm. teaches you all that then you take that to your life platform we we wrote a book because i realized that oh, these things work each time i speak with sabbath school people laugh yeah or people listen yeah people cry mm, yeah let me write this thing here mm. boom wrote a book i'm gone the church, I like what you said, the church yeah. will allow you to grow your gift and then be released. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. So thank you so much. Thank um, you, sir. I think we're going to have to do this many, many more. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this one and perhaps coming back to discuss more. So to our viewers out there, if you've been watching and listening this, this has been our attempt to direct you by showing you 22 things that are visible on a destiny marked man. Or woman, I hope this has been a beautiful. Give us one more last statement before you go. What is the thing that you want someone to remember out of this show? Your my, your parting shot. My parting shot is that your 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 your, your the, the battle that you go through in life is always determined by what you carry. It's not about you. Don't take it personal. When when the enemy is attacking you. Is not attacking you. Is attacking the divine cargo that you carry, which is the God plan, which is your assignment on this earth. That's what intimidates the devil. He's not intimidated by education. He's not intimidated by your religion. He's not intimidated by affiliation. He's intimidated by the God assignment. The very purpose of your existence is the thing that hurts him. So today, find sense in that. If the devil is bringing this amount of artillery, mm. this amount of instruments to attack me, Mm. I might as well start to ask myself to take a deeper look. Mm. What is it that I carry that has leveled this amount of war and attention from the enemy? Why? Mm. Your warfare is determined by what you carry. Your warfare is determined by what you carry. That's a perfect moment to stop this podcast on the go. Thank you so much, my brothers and my sisters and my friends and Bishop, thank you bless so you, much. Thank God you, bless sir. you. And uh, we look forward to see you next time. Be, please be in touch with us wherever you are. You might be in Zambia, Malawi, Wherever on this great continent of Africa, would love to visit your neighborhood and sit down and talk about the issues that really impact your life in the part of the world where you are. Also, remember to subscribe to this ministry, this channel, Melvin Broadcasting Network. Just press the like, press the subscribe, and there's a new button you might have noticed right there. Just click that super thank you and donate and support this ministry so we can do more videos and travel to your place. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.